All right, this here is the 401 bot. It is a 3D printed and aluminum robotic arm. And today I wanna to show you the things that we can accomplish when we combine 3D printing and robotics. So thus far, we have done a few sample projects that include a 3D printed camera jig, a 3D printed painting jig, and a 3D printed drilling jig. You kind of get the point. Basically, when we combine simple 3D prints with robotics, we can create some pretty crazy stuff, including this robot. So today I wanna walk you through that process from start to finish to show you how we actually make items and make those programs, and then that way you can do it too. Okay, so I like to use the 401 bot here to control the three 3D printers behind me. And one cool program or feature that someone suggested was to make a power off switch. Now, I think a power off switch could be great if, for example, something happened and you needed to shut down your 3D printers. Maybe something was going very wrong and what you want is a hardware option to actually turn off that switch. All right, so how are we going to do it? Well, we can kind of tell already just from looking at the robot that it is not going to be able to reach all the way around the 3D printer and flip off the switch. So what I am thinking is we will take the 3D printer like this and we can see that this here is where the door opens. What I'm gonna do is I am going to design a very simple mechanism that we will stick onto the side of the 3D printer. And when the robot actually comes, it will say press a button or pull a button, and that will flip a switch at the back to turn on or off the power. Now that sounds a little bit complicated, but a really simple design in 3D print will take care of it. So that is the concept for right now. Let's do it in Fusion 360, then we'll 3D print it, put it on the side, and then create the robot program to actually activate it. All right, so we're gonna open Fusion 360, and then thankfully there's a bunch of models online of the bamboo printers. I brought one up right here. So I will start with this model, and then I'll also uh, do some sort of measurements to make sure that this model is actually accurate. But then what I'm gonna do is start designing the piece that's gonna go on the side and the very simple mechanism to go with that. I'm not gonna bore you with the whole design, but here's a couple clips of it. All right, done, check this out, check this out. Let's zoom in here. This is probably not the final version, but now what we have is sort of a handle here that the robot can actually grab. I'm gonna put a spring in this piece right here, and that will activate this lever to actually go and turn the switch on the printer off. Now, is it gonna work? I think so. Is it the final, final version? Probably not, but it should be a good enough prototype to sort of illustrate the concept here and then I can finish it up later. So let's print that now and then let's get it attached to the printer and then let's create the robot program for the printer to actually grab something out of the print bed, put it somewhere and then turn off the printer. Let's do it. All right, check this out. So this is the initial prototype, just to give you like a couple pieces so that you can see it. You'll see, for example, I have this right here. So like I said, we're gonna put a little spring in. We have the handle and these simply all connect together. And then how this is gonna work, I'm gonna stick it on the side of the printer. It's gonna be stuck sort of like this. And because this spring is in here, when the robot actually goes and presses on this button, you see that? It will actually go and switch the power off. Now, like I said, this is still just a prototype. I just wanna show you like how easy it is to sort of make a simple 3D design and then integrate this into the robot workflow. So I'm gonna leave this as is sort of for the prototype. And then obviously when it comes to like a final release of something like this, we'll clean up the files and make it perfect. But I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to the 3D printer now and let's see if we can get the 401 bot actually working with it. All right, that is put together now for the moment of truth, or I guess, the initial setup. Let's see if we can stick it to the side here and then have it actually press this button. Now, like I said, this is just a prototype. Uh, I'm probably just gonna duct tape it to the side just to play it safe for now. And then in the end, I'll make the final version, use some nice 3M tape and get it polished off. But let's test it. All right, the prototype is duct taped on there. That looks like it's working. I'm gonna fire up the robot right now. We'll give it a, a little moment of truth and then we'll see if the robot can actually go press this and see if it does indeed flip the switch off. So let's try it. 
All right, so at this point, if you haven't even seen it in action yet, I'm gonna run the program right here where the robot actually goes, grabs the item out of the 3D printer and puts it on a table. But now what we have, and let me see if I can show you or if you can see it, but here is the mechanism sort of beside the 3D printer that's attached to it. So here is our lever mechanism there that we're going to try and have the 3D printer actually press when it's done so that it will turn off the printer. I'm gonna let this run through so you can see the program of it grabbing the 3D print off the 3D printer. And then when that's done, we're going to add on the final section to the program. So let's run it right now. All right, so that there is the first part that's done. So now what we need to do is from this position here, we're gonna program the robot to actually go back up over the door. We're gonna close the gripper and then we're gonna have it press that button to turn off the printer. Then we're gonna run it all from the beginning. So it's going to go take an item out of the printer, put it in a box or on a table, and then it can actually go turn off when it's done. If you really wanted to, you could go close the door, do, do the whole thing, but let's program in that part right now and see if we can get it to work. All right, so I just went and edited the program so that after it grabs the print, it's actually gonna go back around and hopefully turn off the printer with that button that we just made. So let's see if I can set you up right here so we can see it from start to finish and wish us luck. Here it goes. Now, one thing that's worth noting is the only way you're actually gonna really see if it's powered off is by looking at the LCD on the printer there. So I'm gonna do the best I can to make sure that you can see that as well. So here we go. Robot is going in there. I just put a sample print on the 3D printer, so hopefully it uh, picks that one up without an issue. Looks like it should be all right. There it goes. It's a little bit tall, so it might hit it on the top. Nope. Nice. Okay, so, should bring this back around. Put it on the table, should just about push it off, but not quite. There it goes. And now the moment of truth is, is the 401 bot going to be able to reach back around and actually turn the printer off? So it needs to press that button right there. Let's see. There it goes. find it we can see it did indeed and the printer is off so that is success now it's just gonna come back around but that is pretty much it I just wanted to show you guys uh, a good angle of that, just show you the process sort of from start to finish of like idea and create a simple design, write uh, a simple robot program and integrate it with the 401 bot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it kind of shows you uh, the process of building something from scratch and then integrating it with the robot. I'll try and uh, run this a few times, give a couple of views. If you have any recommendations or things that you want me to program the 401 bot to do that you think would make a great video, let me know. See you in the next one.